Hi, it's Michael from Culture Talk and Tours, and I am here at the Belize Independence Day Banquet at the Belize Embassy, sponsored by the Belize Embassy here in Taipei City, Taiwan. We're here to meet the ambassador and also speak to some students about the scholarship program here in Taiwan. Let's check out this event. Hi, it's Michael and I'm inside of the event for the Belize Independence. Now, we're with two friends, Marlene and Erin. Nice to meet you. Nice so, to meet you. you're both from Belize? Correct, yes. we yes. are. And where in Belize are you from? Belize City. Belize. Same, I'm from Belize City. Belize both City, of us. Yeah. okay. I have been to Belize and none of my friends from Belize can believe it. But I have, I've been several times from Mexico. Oh, nice. Because I lived in Mexico, yeah, so yeah. I went there. But if I knew then what I know now, I would have spent more time there, you know? <laughs> it's just quick, quick. So we're talking about being from Belize, living in Taiwan. How have you found moving to Asia from? What a culture shock. You right. know, Belize being the only native English-speaking country in Central America, we're very, like, Based on the U.S. system of things and yes. that lifestyle, we're very like westernized in that kind of way. Right. Asia is just completely, it's like a complete 180, a complete right. turnaround. Right. Something so different, their traditions, their cultures, their beliefs. Um, coming over, you definitely have to come with an open mentality. Right. You have to be positive all the time, right. for, first and foremost. Right. And, um, just soak it all in, enjoy it. So it's a little bit challenging, right. but once you get into the groove of it and you get used to you know, just being here and everything, you, you find yourself like really immersed and you can deal with it. Right. So that, that's it. And you, you the well, same? Well, this is my fifth year being here. Okay. So I'm definitely used to it so far. Right. Um, I wanted to leave Belize because I came when I was around 19. Right. So I wanted a new experience. So I came here with like an open mind, like Aaron said. Right. So it wasn't something too, too difficult. Just a couple things that like, you know, we were used to from Belize, like the distance of things was really close. And here, traveling from a place to place is really far. Right. But just things like that. But other than that, it has been a great experience. And then what about missing family and your food? How could stuff. you say no? How is that yeah. even a question? Well, honestly? it is. It is a lot better now because we've got FaceTime. You know, you can talk. My friends from Belize were always looking for cornmeal. They wanted to make cornbread and biscuits and stuff yeah, like so that. We, we've solved the family issue, but the food issue is not solved. Yes. I can't FaceTime some stuff that I like over here. Yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. I wish. So, everything. And, al and also, like the distance you travel to home is really far as well. Yeah. Rather than if you were just in the U.S., it's like a few hours, but here right. it's like so so long. You have to fly to right. the state. Right. A lot of connecting flights. Flight. Right. So, are both of you here on the scholarship program? I was right. my bachelor's, but now I'm doing my master's. Okay. Yeah. So and what did you do your bachelor's in? International business and trade and big Oh, wonderful. Yeah. And you? It was the same. That's how we met. That's how we became friends. Oh, cool. So I've been here six years. Wow. And so I finished with the, the scholarship program and everything, and I'm also doing my master's now okay. in Kaohsiung. Oh, wonderful. Here I am up north. Look at you, <laughs> making the trip. I just came from Taichung today, this morning, to, to come here. We were at the other event for Independence Day and we met Madam Ambassador yeah. and then she told us about this event and I thought it'd be great to meet all of the students because all of my friends, um, I'm a teacher as well, have joined this scholarship program and then they've stayed because they just have so many opportunities here. So out of one to ten, what do you think it was for making the decision to move to Taiwan and Asia? For me, I think it was an easy 10 at the moment. Yeah. I just wanted to leave. Yes. I just wanted to like, oh, I need my own space. I don't want to be told what to do. So yes. I'm like, yes, I'm taking the opportunity and I'm coming. I don't care. Right. And um, But being here so, so long, you know, yeah. um, I don't know. I, recently, the just a couple of days ago, I was in like a workshop where someone from America came to give us a talk. Right. And they spoke about exactly what I'm feeling, where when you get to someplace new, yes. you, you're just so excited. You're up yeah. there. And the longer you stay, you'll just experience the yeah. slump and it'll go the down. Honeymoon stage and being here over. for six years, I'm already... Yeah. I'm already down there. Now so. it's like the new home. It's like your second home. It is a second home. Yes. Um, but I think for me personally, I, I'm ready to go back home. Right. Sure. 
And also, do you find, because a lot of my friends from Belize, they grew up with the beach and they grew up with everything and they'd be like, oh, we don't even go swimming. Like, I'm from Niagara Falls, so if you came to visit me and said, oh, I want to see Niagara Falls, I'd be like, oh, it's not exciting for me. So, did you find that as well? Like, everyone, we were talking about the blue hole at the other event. Like, oh, how could you leave Belize? But there's beautiful things everywhere. You want to answer that? Answer the previous questions. Do you still want me to answer the previous question as well? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I overall I'd give it a 10 because I mean it has taught me a lot of things to grow up because I was living with my parents back at home. Right. But here it has taught me to grow up and to be more independent. independent right. You have to take care of your own things, your bills, everything by yourself. Right. So I think overall the experience and I give it a 10. Good. But like Erin, I do want to go home and I plan yeah. on going home after my master's. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay at home, but maybe move somewhere else. Yeah. But I think Taiwan has given me a great experience. Okay. And to missing the things from back home, I think you miss it more when you come here. Yeah. But when you are back home, I think you kind of take it for granted. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're like, I can go there anytime, not realizing that when you move, it's going to be so, so hard to go there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And also I find the longer I live overseas, the less things I want from home. Like, yeah, like before, I've lived in Asia for almost 20 years, so it was like, you have to buy your underwear, you have to buy your deodorant, you have to buy all these things, but little by little you learn to adapt to where you are. So I find that I'm just adapting to living in Asia now. And then as for the scholarship, I think it's a great program. They pay for the tuition, house tuition, house, housing, tuition. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you also get some pocket money or yeah, something? Yeah, you, you get a stipend and with that you can still pay things like um, electricity bills for where you're staying, right. um, transportation, right. phone bills. Yeah. And the programs at the universities here are just so much more advanced than even in the U.S. So I find that a lot of friends that are doing things that they couldn't do at home, they couldn't even do in the States what they can do here, especially a lot of uh, technology things that, like that. So I just find the programs are better. But it's not easy to move overseas, so I commend both of you. And we're going to let these ladies show off their beautiful dresses and enjoy the evening. <laughs> Wonderful to meet you. Wonderful meeting and we'll you run guys. into you later, okay? okay thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Let's go find some more people to talk to. Hi, it's Michael and I'm back with Kalia and Isabel, two more students from Belize. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, we're just talking to some other students about their experience in Taiwan. You're both on the scholarship program? Yeah, we're on MOFA. Okay, and what are you studying? International business. International business. Is everyone studying that? <laughs> yeah. It seems like everyone's studying that. Okay, and how long have you been here in Taiwan? Um, we've been here for a year, but okay. we were doing our um, we were doing Mandarin before. Okay, and so now you're on your yeah we're doing university now. Okay, and do you think you're gonna stay for your masters as well? It's a possibility. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, how have you found moving from you know the Caribbean to Asia? How has that been for you? Uh, for me, it was a huge culture shock because um, some stuff we tend to do home, we don't they don't do it here. Right. But um, we're, I think we're adjusting pretty much pretty good so far. Okay. Uh, for me, at first, it felt like wow, Taiwan is amazing. Right. But after a while, you get homesick, so it's yeah. kind of hard to adjust being yes. in a foreign country. Right. So it's yeah. like you just get used to it, but now it's. It's good. it's good. And do you find that like coming from Belize, it's very laid back and you know, you don't have a subway system, you don't yeah. have all this rush, yeah. rush, rush. I think we here it has a lot of, it more convenient. Yes. And like with home, we're more, like you said, more laid back and we're more slow. Yes. So, but here it's like a fast pace, everyone's moving well, fast. Yeah, or, slow. Girl, <laughs> I need to tell you because I have lots of friends from Belize and Dial, I'm talking to you. <laughs> because she's always like Michael time or Belize time uh, and I'm like Michael time yeah dinner is at five that yeah. means I want your no, ass like, here we had to get I had to get adjusted to that because when someone's at like 10 I get there like 12 you start being ready at 10 <laughs> yeah yes they are from the Caribbean so it's been a great experience out of 1 to 10 how would you rate 
the whole scholarship program. We were just hearing from your friends over there. They pay the tuition, they pay the dorm. You get a stipend, like spending money. Ours is pretty much, well, most of they give you a bunch of money and right. then you, um, you like, <laughs> you see about, for, you like, um, divide the money. Okay. So you decide, like, where you're going to live, how right. you're going to split the money for, to, like, pay for school and stuff. Okay. So you can live in dorms, but you don't have to. Okay. So I think, um, so far, like, we just got a tuition raise. Right. Or a stipend raise, sorry. So, so far, yeah. it's been, it's been good. Yeah. And, and then yeah. your program that you're studying, is it available at schools in Belize or is it? Um, I, there's, there's, it's available at um, a, like two schools. Home. Right. But you're, and But you would pay for it there, your yeah, family would, would pay, pay for, for it. it yeah. So here you're getting to live somewhere new, you're getting to grow up, which is what university is about, yeah. right? Like she said, it teaches you independence. Yes. And being away, like just leaving. Going to our next district is different than going across the world. Yes, yes definitely. <laughs> and I find from Belize, like the families are very close, and yeah. you know, you do a lot of things. You're cooking together, a lot of things like that. Because all of my friends, they went home because the family was like, yeah, yeah. it's been well, seven I'm years. A new family. Your new family. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Enjoy your time while you're here. And again, it's not easy to move across the world. I've lived in Asia for 20 years. It's not. It's not easy, girl, no. So, we'll let these ladies have fun, enjoy your evening. You too. And we'll bump into you later. Okay. Let's go meet some more students. Hi, it's Michael, and I'm back with some Belizean students here at the event. Welcome, everyone. And you've all studied in Taiwan on the scholarship program. Can you quickly tell us what you've studied? Uh, well, I'm currently studying my master's in healthcare administration oh. at uh, Taipei Medical University. Wonderful. And you? I'm also doing my master's in healthcare administration, but I'm second year. Okay. Yeah. It's first. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also doing my master's in healthcare administration, and oh. this is my first year. Okay. I'm also in Taipei Medical University, but I'm doing my PhD in global health and health security. Undergrad in Taiwan as well? Uh, no. No, I didn't. So you're just here for for masters. Okay. And how have you found moving from Belize to Taiwan, the middle of Asia? We were just talking to some of your colleagues here. I've been to Belize myself, so it's very laid back. You know. So with my friends here, we say not Belize time. We say Michael time. So if dinner's at five, it's at five. Yeah. Not get ready at five. So have you, what have you found? It's a new culture, so um, we're adjusting. It's getting better. Right. Um, we've been here for one month now, right. and it's way better than when I had just arrived in Taiwan. Right. Um, I was like, oh, I don't understand Mandarin, I don't eat the food, but I've been adjusting a lot of way. So it's getting so much better, and I feel more comfortable being in Taiwan. And also I found from my friends from Belize, they want their food and you know I, I have to take them out for hot pot, I have to take them out for curry, anything, sushi, I'm just taking them out for everything. So if you found that, you found where to get what you want to eat, right? And then you just kind of go there. Yeah, we so well, <laughs> yeah, we because I'm curry. second year, I get to show them places that I like. So we eat a lot of Indian food, or we when we find a spot that we really like, we make sure to save it so that we can go back. Yes. <laughs> so we found a place that was doing, we're from Taichung, we found a place that was doing chicken and waffles. And we were meeting our friends from Belize there every Friday, and people wanted to do their birthday party, wanted to do everything there. Well, it's about to start. Wonderful to meet you guys and have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Perfect. Let's go talk to some more students. Okay guys, so we are going to begin the program shortly. Can you please find My name is Melody Walker, and this is your president of uh, Asia Gil Harry, and we'll be entertaining you for a little evening. So we would like to begin the night with some blessings. So I would like to call upon Indiani Carrias to lead us in the national prayer. Thank you. 
country. God of might, wisdom, and justice, please assist our Louisiana government and people with your holy spirit of counsel and fortitude. Let your life of your divine wisdom direct your plans and endeavors, so that with your help we may attain our just objectives. With your guidance, may all our endeavors tend to peace, social justice, liberty, national happiness, the increase of industry, sobriety, and useful knowledge. We pray our God's mercy for all of us that we may be blessed in knowledge and sanctified in the observance of your most holy law, that we may be preserved in union and peace with the world itself cannot give. And after enjoying the blessings of this life, please admit us, dear Lord, to that eternal reward that you have prepared for those who love you. Amen. We would like we would now like to call upon uh, Ben and Renisha uh, and Rina to lead us in the <laughs> national anthem. <laughs>
and all members of the executive and every single person who has assisted to make this event possible for all of us. I am sure it took much collaboration and running around to ensure every part falls into place and we are forever grateful for your efforts. I believe I had met most, if not all, of the new students already. But I want to once again welcome you to Taiwan, your new home away from home. I hope that you are transitioning and settling in well. I do not frequently have the opportunity to address all of you in one setting. So before we get into the hip hip parade, please allow me to share a few reminders with you that will help to make your studies and stay in Taiwan a lot smoother and more successful. One, if you're a scholarship recipient, Please be mindful of your scholarship regulations and guidelines to prevent situations such as stipends being suspended or scholarship status being canceled. Two, do not let your pass passport or your ARC expire. Three, please register at the embassy. Your contact information will allow the embassy to contact you and your family in Belize in the event of an emergency and to also inform you when the embassy hosts uh, events for Belizeans. Four, we also encourage you to participate in the events the embassy hosts. Students have been volunteering at our events, such as our tourism, for trade exhibitions and other cultural events. It is good to see students representing Belize so proudly. Besides, these activities will look good on your resume, and these activities also look good to other uh, countries as well. I've heard my colleagues, my uh, ambassadorial colleagues uh, from other embassies who would comment on our Belizean students' participation in events. For instance, um, maybe a year or two ago, we had a beach cleanup, and several countries and embassies and students participated. And my colleagues commented on the number of Belizean students who were present there. We had the largest number of, of participants. And they also comment on the uh, activities of the BTA. In fact, they have committed that the Belize Taiwan Association is one of the most active associations uh, in Taiwan to the extent that this association has inspired other countries to also revamp or to create an association. So I, I am always so proud when I hear these comments made about Belize and students and about your, your association. So continue to participate. Um, and if you are interested in uh, volunteering at any of our cultural events, please register with the embassy and then we will contact you whenever these events um, arise. And then number five, please be mindful of the role and responsibilities of the embassy. Um, the embassy is here as the official representation of Belize. We're in the face of Belize. The embassy is akin to a floating nation. That is how important the embassy is. Um, we are here to support you. We are here to provide consular services to you. Um, and we are here to represent you officially. However, we're not here to intervene at your school if you're trying to get a grade change. And we're not here to uh, incur any cost that you may accrue because you may have failed to, uh, to renew your passport or your ARC on time or you have some malfunction with your, with your, um, with your, with your scholarship, right? So uh, if you understand what the embassy is here, uh, the roles and responsibilities of the embassy, then you won't feel disappointed when you come 
uh, with those requests. Sadly, unfortunately, those are not our responsibilities, all right? Okay, now that I've gotten all of those out of the way, let us begin with our celebration. As I've mentioned, I thank all of you for sharing this uh, glorious occasion with us. I be began by mentioning that Taiwan is your home away from home, but I am sure that you will all agree with me that no place can replace home. Whether it is our hot tortillas with stewed beans and chicken, or our rice and beans, or tamales and panades, or various soups, going to Kikaka, Placencia, or San Pedro, or just hanging out with friends on a Friday night, or spending Sundays with family. Nothing or no place can replace home. Being far away from Belize, we are grateful for these opportunities to gather, to eat some Belizean food, to remember home, and to just celebrate being Belizeans. But I must add, home will not be this good, or it will not be better if we do not contribute to its development in whatever way we can. We cannot just want to benefit from home or benefit from a scholarship that, mind you, home helped you to get, but don't want to give back to the development of home. So I charge each of you with the responsibility to remember home and to give back to the development of home, as I've mentioned, in the ways that you can. That said, we are supposed to have our glasses. <laughs> can we have some drinks so we can have a toast? Can you hide? 
Mr. Jason Torres. Mr. Dale Neal. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
appreciate your spirit. We know how much years we've played in Taiwan for some of you guys, like myself and Dale. And we appreciate anyone who comes and participates and joins the team. All right, you guys are welcome to come in, whether it's a female team, a male team. It's always an open invitation for anyone. All right, thank you. Peter Kin. Abi Sanchez. Abi Sanchez. Isabel Sosa. Tracy Sosa. Ronisha Williams.
as many foods that you can that have anything to do with cod. Wait, 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 do not, no, no ready, no ready, no ready. Ready, no ready, no ready. No ready. No ready.
Oh, so they could guess. Yeah, they asked them if. You have to say if the answer was yes or no. Yes or no, yeah. Man or which one? Which one? Man or which one? Oh, sorry, sorry. So, was a man, died, important to independence, they made something, it was a song, as it was a musician, and then Samuel Hain. Yeah, Samuel Hain. But he was saying hi. students here at the Belize event. We're in line for dinner, but we thought we'd stop and talk to these students. How are you guys tonight? Good, we're enjoying the night. Yes. Thank you. It's a very eventful night. We're yeah. happy to be here with yeah. other Belizeans enjoying the time. And we were just talking about how good the appetizers were. They had a cheese dip and salsa with like grilled pork or something yes. in it. Yes. What's that called? Salticon. Yes. 
Oh, that's like a national dish or something? Yeah, it's a local dish that is prepared in most hotels. Okay. Yeah, usually for parties and uh, uh, like a little starter for us. Okay, oh, I love it. Yeah, it's very delicious. So I ate a lot. I've had two helpings of that. Now both of you are here studying? Yes, master's degree. Master's? Um, both at the National Trinity University. Oh, wonderful. Yes. And did you do your undergrad here as well? No, we no. did it in Belize. In Belize. Um, yeah. University of Belize. Okay. And we're asking about, um, I've been to Belize myself and I know it's very laid back. They were talking about Belize time in the game. What have you found moving from the Caribbean to Asia? Well, the love safety. Yeah. The culture is completely different. Right. As they said earlier, we have like Belizean time and then there's Asian time. Yes. I'd say so they're very um, tight on time. On so, time. Yeah, they're very on time. And I think that's something good that we were able to develop and right. um, get along with. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your experience here in Taiwan? I haven't finished my experiences yet, so right. I have about one year left, right. but I'll give it a plus 10. Yeah, yeah. I love it here. Yeah, the people are amazing, the culture is so much to take in, and I would ask anyone to like come and look it's at It's such a great Taiwan. experience, I think. For It's something very wonderful that you can get firsthand, yes. and for a student, it's a different and you're setting yourself up for the future yes. and you can stay here work for a couple of years or go back and as the ambassador was saying help out in Belize make Belize a better place yes and that is something that I was actually discussing with my friend that um, once we got here we saw so many things that we could actually like um, impose back home that we could um, do that would be able to help our community right so we learn a lot here and there's so much um, knowledge that we can give back right. and the students coming back with a degree so there's so much that we could do and i'd love that is my plan i want to go back home give back wonderful yeah and help build Belize yes, with everything you've learned here okay the line is moving we need to get dinner ladies thank you so much for talking with us enjoy your night enjoy your dinner Thank you, thank you. Let's go get dinner. It's Michael and I am back with Asia, who is the president of the Belize Taiwan Association. Asia, great to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think, did we meet the other night at the other event? Yeah, we met at the 21st celebration. Okay, so you were one of the performers? Yes, I was one of the performers and I went to represent also Taiwan. Oh, president. wonderful. <laughs> We've had such a good night tonight. The food has been great, the games are great. And I just want to commend you. I think it's so wonderful that as university students are planning this wonderful dinner. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's really important for us to have these types of events because 
we're basically alone here, you know. A lot of us come out here very young. I came to Taiwan when I was 18. Right. So having this community really helps you because you have a community to grow into, you know. Right. You have, you feel safe, you feel comfortable. You know that there's other people here that can relate to the things that you miss. Right. So it's really nice and that's why now that I'm almost in my final year, um, I decided to try to be the president uh, and um, try to have more of these events because right. it was really important for me when I came. Right. So I want to keep doing these things to build a community. Wonderful. And what are you studying here? Um, I'm studying international relations and diplomacy at the Tampa University. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so great that you get to spend time with Madam Ambassador. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And also, how long have you been in Taiwan now? Uh, I've been in Taiwan for four years. Okay. So this is my fifth year. Okay. And on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate living in Taiwan? Uh, I'd rate it a 9. A 9. A 9. I love the convenience, I love the culture, I like the food, I like the people, but there's no place like home. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. And I have been to Belize myself, and as I was saying, I know that it's very laid back, it's tropical, and here is very kind of go, go, go. Yeah. And I'm, I'm actually not from the city, I'm from Corozal, a oh, okay. very small town up north. Right. So, Coming from that life to living in Taipei my first year, I was like, whoa, I'm not a city girl. Yes. <laughs> so now I live in Dan Shui, which is much more calm, much more my pace right. in terms of um, living lifestyle. Okay. So, yeah. And what are your plans for the future? Do you think you'll stay here after or...? That's a really good question. Um, I mean, I'm in my senior year, so I should have this figured out, right? But <laughs> right. <laughs> but, um, We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to keep studying. I'm going to apply for other scholarships abroad. Okay. Um, I think five years is a good time to be here. Yes. Uh, I'd love to go back home after I complete my studies uh, to, you know, contribute to the building of the nation. Right. But it all boils down to availability of jobs at yes. the end of the day, right? Exactly. So, yeah. And as Madam Ambassador was saying that we're learning things here, we should take it of back course. to Belize and help Belize be even better than it is. I truly believe that. I truly believe that we have a lot that we can learn yes. from Taiwan, um, especially how much they keep these things uh, to a certain. This is expected. Yes. You know, it's not something that you should just do. Oh, well, because no. Yes. You know, um, I think having this community should be translated back home too. Yes. I mean, of course we have communities back home, but yes. we're still much uh, very, I'm from here, I'm from here, from this side, this yeah. side, you know, a little bit separated. Yeah. But when you come out here, that doesn't matter anymore. No. You're just from Belize. Yes. And I think we need more of that national pride in Belize. Yes. And you had some great games for ice breaking and I could hear people talking, where are you from, where are you from, oh my aunt is from that town. Yeah. And it was all stuff that I didn't know, like national heroes and <laughs> things like that. So foods, uh, I learned that corn is can, 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 K A A N. Yes. So it's been a wonderful evening. Thank you again for letting us join this party. It's our pleasure because we need this type of, you know, media endorsement. We are a very small country and we're very lovely. So we yes. should be more out there, you know. So yes, you thank are. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. To spotlight yes um, we really appreciate it we hope you had a great time so it was wonderful and we're going to work together i was saying to madam ambassador when we first met this is the beginning of a long relationship i love that because belize is in my heart and taiwan i live here so it's in my heart as well i cannot say enough good things guys you're going to see the whole video it's been just unbelievable and just the spirit of people Everyone's well. A lot of the ladies are getting really dressed up. <laughs> yeah. Some of the men, not so much, but that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. This is our time to, you know, dress up. Yeah, to shine. Yeah. Yeah, because you had on a costume before. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I had a, my uh, sorry because, as you know, Belize is very um, multicultural. Yes. So I have East Indian from my dad's side and I'm Mestizo from my mom's side. Wonderful. So I like to be able to, you know, show off the both of both cultures because they both represent who I am. Yes. So, and we're going to stay in contact. Uh, Madam Ambassador just had a book donation earlier this week where she was giving Belize themed books. Yeah. And I was saying to her assistant that I would have loved to have covered that as well. Um, my project is to focus on, on the Ally Nations. Nice. And I think, you know, we've been doing a lot with Guatemala. We need to do more with Belize as well. Yeah, for sure. We'll, so, we'll keep you updated on every event that we have. And we're following <laughs> each other on Instagram now, so we're connected. Thank you again. Lovely to see you again. It was such a great event. And oh my God, that chips, the chips and that cheese dip. 
I made that one. Did you? <laughs> wow, she's my new best friend. <laughs> that was so good. And the salsa with the Yeah, meat? the salpicone. Oof. So good. I hardly ate any dinner, which was also good because I had two bowls of chips and salsa. I'll let you enjoy the rest of your Thank evening. You so much. It was nice to see you. Yeah, great to see you again. See you again soon. And let's go talk to some more people.
Falling green plains, land of mountains and valleys. Hear the cry of the calling birds, green colors and blue. Intoxicating perfume. Pitts, wonderful to see you again. It's always a pleasure to see you. And I just I was talking to Asia, the president of the Belize Taiwan Association. This evening has been magical. This community, as you were saying in your speech, it's when I was in university, I would not be planning a party like this. You should be very proud of these guys. I'm always so very proud, and they're. Um, Independence Gala is an annual event. Okay. So last year there was one, and this year we're also having, well, the students coordinating this one, and the embassy helped to facilitate it. Um, but in Belize, we have an, uh, September is an entire month of festivities. Right. So it is only fitting that the students decided to have their Independence Gala to conclude this month of, of festivities. Yes, and that was a wonderful event as well with all the performers. And as you were saying before, a lot of these performers Performers are students, or all of them, they're students. And again, when I was in university, I would not have been performing for Canada. Well, they are really cultural ambassadors unto themselves. Yes. And the way that they represent Belize is so impressive and so admirable. Yes. Um, my colleagues and other students are always um, commending our Belizean students because of the way they represent Belize so proudly and so beautifully. Yes, and hopefully they will go back and help build and make Belize even better than it is. Well, every opportunity that I have, yes. I am always encouraging them to um, ensure that Belize becomes a beneficiary of their opportunity exactly. to be here in Taiwan. And one of the ways that they can do that is to look back and to give back in whatever capacity that they can. Yeah, and help it grow in whatever they learn. And many times they're learning things here that's not available. And instead of going to the States or somewhere else, it's good to come to Asia and have a whole new experience. Now, Madam Ambassador did have an event this week. I saw you were donating books to a public school, and I was talking to your executive assistant that things like that, I think, need more of a focus as well. So when we first met the Ambassador, we said this is the beginning of a long relationship. I've been to Belize, you know, and it has a place in my heart. So we're going to work together and we're going to focus more on all the wonderful things about it. Well, thank you. Thank you for that um, offer. And I just want to say on the book donation, do you remember the independence 
um, celebration at the Shangri-La. Yes. There was a group of Taiwanese elementary yes. students right. who performed their national anthem. Those are students from Rinchi oh. Elementary School. Wow. And they dedicated their summer to learning the Belize national anthem. Um, their teacher taught them to enunciate every word and even taught them the history of Belize so they could have understood what they were singing. And they sung the national anthem so exquisitely. And so the school extended an invitation to me wow. to come <laughs> and to give a lecture on Belize. Right. And I decided to, in addition to giving the lecture as a gesture of gratitude to the school and to the students, I also made a book donation um, of Belizean children books all to their all um, stories library. About focused on Belize, yeah, it's, it was wonderful. So we've had a wonderful evening. Always lovely to see you. Hope to see you more in the new future. Always and a pleasure to see you. Thank you for being here yes. and celebrating with us. Yeah, I think, think you're a Belizean, you know, a part I know, Belizean. I know. Well, the the director of the Mexican office has adopted me as Mexican, so I'm kind of <laughs> I'm in that area. You are a global citizen. <laughs> I am. It's wonderful. I have a lot of great friends here in Taiwan from Belize. And just the community has just been so wonderful tonight. We had these games we were talking to Asha about that they, it's like a kind of icebreaker and people are talking about where their city and where they're from. And I just think it's been a really great night. Well, there's a lineup of people that want to take pictures with Madam and Master. Love to see you. A pleasure. Yes. And thank you for being here. And I look forward to the other collaborations yes. that you will have. We, anything you need, we'll come and we'll support you. Thank if you're going to donate more books, I'll go there. Because as I was saying to your assistant, we need to focus more on that. It's just two seconds in the news, but you know, you're you're showing something to these kids that they don't know. They need to be learned about the world. Wonderful. Thank you, for your Thank you and enjoy the rest of the evening. And we will see you on the next episode.